Super Saki Part 3, The Saki Legacy by Joaquin Manzano. Super Saki, finder of missing socks and his wife, Miss June, started a Super Saki family. They had two baby socks, a girl named Sabine, and a boy named Junior, or JR for short. The Super Saki family loved spending time together and finding missing socks, and it seemed that every holiday had a missing sock case. On Valentine's Day, a sock went missing at the jewelry shop. A man was so shocked by the price of a ring he was buying that his sock just flew off his foot. Junior found the sock in a diamond ring box. On St. Patrick's Day, an Irish dancer couldn't do her jig because she was missing a sock. The Super Socky family found the missing sock in Ireland. During an Easter egg hunt, a boy's sock went missing. Sabine found the missing sock in the Easter Bunny's hut in a plastic egg. On the 4th of July, a firecracker was launched with a sock stuck to it. The Super Socky family heard the sock screaming, help! JR and Sabine caught the sock in midair and brought him back to his partner. On Halloween, a girl couldn't go trick-or-treating because one of her socks was gone. Miss June found the missing sock inside of a jack-o'-lantern and brought it back to the happy girl. Finally, on Christmas Eve, a baby's Christmas stocking went missing because he didn't know that he was supposed to be hanging from the fireplace mantle. Super Socky found the stocking hiding in the Christmas tree and put him back on the mantle, just in time for Santa's arrival. The missing sock adventures continued for the Super Socky family for many years to come. They reunited thousands of missing sock partners and even won a trophy for being the coolest superhero family in the world. So if you ever find yourself missing one of your favorite socks and you don't know what to do, just look up. If you see a sock flying through the air, it just may be Super Socky coming to save the day. Generous support provided by the Betty Brin Children's Museum and the Kiwanis Club of Milwaukee.